Some of you may have been in the Doctel one, we're just going to touch on it lightly here, but it is a feature of Libraries Australia which facilitates finding and getting information, again designed for end users. It links the Australian uh, Libraries Australia search interface with the Libraries Australia document delivery and its network of over 700 libraries. Libraries that aren't members of Libraries Australia document de delivery can still use enhanced requesting and then process the request according to their own interlibrary loan procedures. It's time saving and efficient. Um, interlibrary loan requests are still able to be mediated by library staff, so it's not as if you've let your end users loose and there's a whole lot of requests flying all over the place because you're managing them. You know, you're either authorising them or you're not. And if you don't, you just complete them and that they're not going to ever, ever go anywhere. Um, generally, it's been taken up by smaller libraries who do not experience high volumes of interlibrary loan requests. Larger volume libraries may experience email overloads. Enhanced requesting is turned off by default, so if you'd like to have enhanced requesting enabled for your library or to find out more about it, look at the frequently asked questions on our website or contact the help desk at any time. So here's the full view of a book I decide I can't live without. <laughs> the Volkswagen Super Beetle Handbook. So I look at get this item. And you're going to see something different there if you've got enhanced requesting enabled for your library. You'll see those request a loan through your library or request a photocopy through your library. And clicking on those takes you to a shorter version of a form if you're library staff or a longer version of a form if you're an end user. Okay, so um, in this case also you can note that this book is not available online, nor is it at my library. You can see they're greyed out, those tabs. And because in... Um, I've already said that bit, sorry. Okay, most importantly, these Libraries Australia search features are available at no extra cost and able to be customised to suit your library's requirements. So that section we've just done really relates to empowering your end users and whether you want to go down that path, but it would be something we would probably highly recommend. quickly run through deep um, open search and, and deep linking just to bring your attention to it. Um, we just want to um, let you know that, that, that this is available. So uh, Libraries Australia was recently added as an open search target and um, so if anyone's, uh, you know, it's just another another way to search. Uh, it's more, it can be more convenient, more, more easily um, um, used for your for your you know sort of technical people and uh, you know people that are that are in there using open search uh, as you can see there's quite a few that you can you can choose from now and there's there's more there listed at um, a9.com um, so this is available um, it it can you can actually search picture Australia as well and you can add it to the search engines list in Firefox 2 or IE7 um, you can um, find the instructions on how to do this on our web page. And just for example, so we've got it set up there. If you just do, jump in here and do a search on Nellie Melba, you just drop down the tab there, as you saw before, opens it up into Libraries Australia. Okay, I'll move on quickly. Did anyone have any queries on that? Most of the information's on, on the website it, um, for you to configure and use, use to use for you. It is, it can be hard. In, in the in the top um, right hand, there's a Google yeah. search. Okay, moving so with, with, with on. Oh, sorry. Hi, Linda. Hi. Um, that will just take you into the free search thing. 
It will. It will. If you're if you're not in the sub if you don't have a subscription, it defaults automatically to the free. Oh, so that's the other one. If I've got a personalised one, will it default to the personal? Will it go to the personalised one? If, if you're logged in, if you're logged in, you need to be sort of logged in and, and using it, and then it'll it'll come up. Okay, but if you're not logged in, it'll it'll request that you log in, or it'll just go straight to the free service. Okay, you can log in from there. Now, deep linking, we'd all like you to encourage you to provide your APIs to us for deep linking. Um, deep linking is very important um, for reference um, library staff, as you might know. There's nothing worse than doing a search in Libraries Australia and clicking through and going to search catalogue and discovering that you now have to do that search for that person again or that person has to rekey in that search. With deep linking, once you click on search catalogue, the search is automatically being done, and it's it's um, showing up in the in um, so for this this one it was State Library of Victoria, so uh, all the, you just need to um, email the help desk, and we can provide you with all the technical information that we require, so your library is um, is linked and can be deep linked from Libraries Australia. So it's just something we wanted to bring to your attention, and, and would love you all to get on board with. It just makes it lovely for your users, and also quite handy for you. Um, the booksellers and suppliers tab is, is also um, a, a great feature. So if you can't find it uh, anywhere, or they want to buy it, or, or etc., I just wanted to bring your attention that there is the uh, option to to purchase it online as well, providing it is online. And you can click through. And, and Mary Louise loves the climate change, and um, there's another climate change one for you. <laughs> I'm a word. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Um, and actually, I had an anecdote from somebody downstairs in reference who said that that's something people absolutely love. You found something on Libraries Australia, nobody's got it, and if you're lucky enough to um, deep link to a second-hand bookseller, bookseller who does have it, people are usually pretty <coughs> pleased with that outcome. Okay, well now we wanted to just quickly touch on news, the Libraries Australia user group meeting, the discussion lists, promo materials, and telling us what you think. No one looks at this, do they? <laughs> Come on, be honest. Who, who's, who's ever ever noticed that this changes? <laughs> give give Lynn the bowl. <laughs> I've got a question. Did anybody think I'm going to come to the forum because they read about it there? No. no. Okay. <laughs> this this changes weekly. Okay. <laughs> Please read it. Okay. Well, that's good. Okay. So we just wanted to bring to your attention that changes weekly. There's there's relevant information there, and um, have a look. Have a look next time. Okay, user group meetings. Now you do realise that you're underrepresented in every state and territory user group meeting. There's hardly any reference users that attend these. 